Ongoing training is essential for most jobs, and when it comes to the Tacoma Fire Department, it's a top priority. Tacoma Report's Lane Fickey takes a look at one hands-on aspect of fire training. The majority of the training for the Tacoma Fire Department takes place here at their training center on the Tide Flats. But when it comes to actual hands-on firefighter practicing, that's done on location at training burns. The Tacoma Fire Department tries to have two live training burns each year. Usually a homeowner who wants their building to be demolished will allow the fire department to practice on their structure. Training burns consist of more than just lighting the building on fire and burning it to the ground. Fires are actually lit and then put out multiple times using different scenarios. This allows firefighters to get a first-hand feel on what they'll be experiencing when they arrive at an actual scene. Live uh, fire training in a controlled environment is really one of the best ways to develop firefighter skills. Uh, firefighters practice hose handling, uh, fire attack, they observe fire behavior, uh, they sometimes will practice what we call rapid intervention crew of um, you know a, a firefighter having a mayday situation and we'll send the crew in to rescue a trapped firefighter. So there's a lot of things that they can practice in that live fire training environment. You can only do simulation so much. Uh, there's no way to simulate going up and down a staircase with a really heavy hose line in a, in a fire environment until you actually do it. And so there's a great deal of benefits for our firefighters using these uh, training burn situations. A lot of time and effort goes into having the training burn actually take place, especially behind the scenes. There are many governing issues that must be met before this hands-on learning lesson occurs. Our training division staff coordinates the regulatory aspects with the different agencies. Uh, firefighters actually spend several hours at the site of a house removing all types of uh, hazardous materials, so the roofing and the plastics. Uh, we often add extra sheetrock uh, in our burn rooms, and so there's a lot of preparation work that goes on behind the scenes. Most training burns last an entire day, probably a lot longer than firefighters will be at an actual fire scene. But the more practice that's put in during these sessions equates to a much safer and efficient time when the actual event happens. For Tacoma Report, I'm Lane Fickey. If you're interested in donating your home so it can be used for training, contact the Tacoma Fire Department.